Almost five years ago in December 2020, I created this viral video about a racial disparity with a device called a pulse oximeter. My name is Dr. Joel, the medical mythbuster, and let's talk about racial biases with the pulse oximeter. Pulse oximeters look like this. The device is like on your finger and they measure your blood oxygen saturation level. But studies like this one have shown that pulse oximeters are three times as likely to lead to inaccurate, overestimated oxygen saturation levels in patients with darker skin tones, meaning that patients may appear to have normal oxygen levels when it's actually dangerously low. What's crazy is, for decades, scientists have been publishing studies in journals like this one showing that pulse oximeters don't work well in darker skin tones. In fact, this article, which says that skin pigmentation and other absorbers impact the measurement of pulse oximeters, is from 1976. Yet even now, years after I made my first video, the problem still hasn't been fixed and conversations are still ongoing. So here's some updates about what's happened up till now. First, in 2021, the FDA released a warning about the limitations of pulse oximeters in darker skin. In 2022, an FDA panel met to review clinical data about the accuracy of pulse oximeters. Studies from that year found that the overestimation of oxygen saturation led to Black patients being delayed care when it came to COVID-19. And in February 2024, an FDA panel met again to review the accuracy of pulse oximeters. In September 2024, the FDA was supposed to release recommendations but missed that deadline. Thankfully, in January 2025, the FDA released draft guidance about how manufacturers should test and label pulse oximeters. The document recommended that the devices should be tested on more people, increasing it from 10 to 150 or more, and that 25% of the participants should have darker skin tones and an increase of diversity and gender. The guidance also says that manufacturers should use two different scales to measure. The first is called the Monk Skin Tone Scale, and the second is called the Individual Typology Angle. While this is all great news, there are some issues still. One, this doesn't apply to over-the-counter pulse oximeters, only medical-grade ones found in hospitals and clinics. Two, this is a guidance, and previous studies have found that other advisories about pulse oximeters to manufacturers have only had a modest change in diversity. And lastly, this is still a draft, and many, like myself, are worried that because of the Trump administration's attacks on diversity, equity, inclusion, that the finalized advisory won't be released. So much of medicine is built off of white, able-bodied male perspectives. It's why it's so important to understand how biases get passed down in technology, passed on to patients, and then influence patient care. Be sure to follow, like, and share to stay tuned for the rest of the Racial Bias in Medicine series. Next, I'll be doing a part two on how these blind spots got built into the pulse oximeter in the first place.